in the post, spin move, and cock, boom. <laughs> and I'm like, oh man, I can't even play in this league, bruh. And <laughs> I got so depressed just from the dunk. Gilbert Arenas was a straight up baller, but injuries ended his career early. But since he played in the early 2000s, he went against the NBA legends like Allen Iverson, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, T-Mac, and more. These are Gilbert Arenas' craziest stories on playing against these legends. We all know about the mama mentality and how crazy and competitive Kobe can be. But in this story, Gilbert Arenas tells us how Kobe intimidated him with his mindset. I used to watch Kobe, right? And how we went to shoot around in pregame, getting our shots up, they do a little hand and, the, you know. No, 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 no. This man in real time, full contact, and you better hit him how he gets hit in the game, before the game. So if he's doing, you know, one, two at the elbow pump fake, you better jump and you better land on me. And I'm like, yo, he, He's getting hit harder in this than, in the than game. we are in a game. And Training if you yourself, don't hit him, that's not realistic. That's not what they're going to do. Rajon Bell is not going to play me like that. Can't fuck nobody that got a mind, they mind trained like that. Like, like, that's scary. He's playing us. And he's over here talking about Rajon Bell won't play him like that. He ain't that nice. He, he plays me dirty. He's going to pull me here. And then now he's playing. He's showing, he's showing him how, they do it. how he does it. Kobe Bryant's mentality is just on a different level, man. But in this next story, Vince Carter's dunk made rookie Gilbert Arena so scared that he almost quit. We're playing against Vince. And, you know, I'm in there cocky. And he's trash, man. The TV make these players look better than they really are. <laughs> and he missed like two straight shots. So I'm all right. I knew he was trash. And then he got mad uh -huh. and then got in the post spin move and cocked it on, boom, <laughs> right? I jumped out the seat. Yo, my God, I'm on the court. Joe, y'all see that? And then I had to realize I was in the NBA. Oh, my bad. <laughs> and I'm on the bench like, yo, did you see that? Man, he didn't touch the, his head. I don't, like, it was the best thing I've ever seen. But what ended up happening was, Reality kicked in. Yeah. I'm like, oh man, I can't even play in this league, bruh. And <laughs> I got so depressed just from the dunk. Realized like, yo, I'm not, I don't have this type of athleticism. Yeah. So I spent, I ain't gonna, I spent probably the first part of the season just like, I can't do this. Just, I, I can't do none of that. Yeah. Kobe, I can't, I can't even guard him. Ray Allen, I can't even guard him. Like these, these people, I can't even, and I was doing that to myself. And someone said, yo, why you keep looking at them for what you can't do? Won't you start looking at what they can't, what they can't do? Man, that was a great lesson by Gilbert Arenas. But let's talk about the 2008 Boston Celtics. This was the year they won the chip. They had the trash talking and the skill to back it up. How did Gilbert Arenas deal with that? We will find out in this story. Looking at all alphas, so they're gonna just try to mentally bully the court. You know what I mean? So we know, all right, KG gonna start with the right, he gonna start with the mouth. That's gonna get Paul going. You know, once Paul start going, then Paul's going. Now you got two alphas on the court trying to bully, talking shit. Like, you, you got that. Then you got the big squad that's coming in trying to bully, they, they playing prison ball, you know what I mean? So, you know, they straight playing prison, brutal basketball when they come in the game. So you got two type of groups that you mentally have to prepare for. Like, so it's like, all right, Andre, look, he said this to you, talk back to him. Talk back to him because if you let it go, KG gonna egg him on, yeah. and, then it, and then it goes from there. And then they're beating us mentality. I mean, the mental part, every time we miss, it makes it seem like we done missed 10 straight. And then I said, if we, we just gotta match it mentally. Talk shit to KG, go back. I don't give you miss. You just, you just keep in his head because he's gonna stay in yours. Yeah. And I said, and that's just a part of the game. You just gotta be able to look at your opponent and see what, what it's about. Like it's never, it's, it's not always about the, the skill part. Yeah. Because if they can mentally get into your head, that skill goes out the window. It was bully ball, but they were skilled. So it's trying to figure out how to neutralize, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> try to try to neutralize certain players and keep it like balanced. Because yeah. if 
if they hit you first, there's, you're not coming back from it. It yeah. was just one of those type of teams that just had every, they had, they had strong-minded players at every position. Do you guys believe the Boston Celtics Big Three would have won more championships without their injuries? Comment down what you guys think. And this one, Gilbert Arenas tells a story on when he first faced Gary Payton. This is not going to end well, guys. And here's what the sign is. Are you going to go in here, Gil? I played him, right? And I was the glove, right? I love the glove yeah. growing up. It's the glove, right? Right, that's that, that get in that defense and get that little Oakland smirk. <laughs> right, so I remember getting in the game, <laughs> bringing the ball down my rookie year, and then we're in, we're in um, Seattle, and he gets into that, that mode. Freaked out. Oh, shit, the glove. <laughs> no one's near me, nothing. Like, he's at half court. Pick the ball up. I pick the ball up. I've seen the move. I've seen what he does. Pick the ball up and just <laughs> tried to pass the shit. Oh, shit, the glove got in the deepest of sand and passed it. And he killed me on offense. Like, all these little spins and post ups, right? And I remember at halftime, man, I, like, I couldn't wait to get subbed out of the game. Like, that's how bad it was. Sub me the fuck out. Like, whoo, sub, coach, whoo, right? And at halftime, he said, man, you lucky I ain't one of these AI types. I would have scored 50 on the half. I'm like, yeah, you would have, right? After that, oh, I hate that now. Oh, my God. My usage rate is trying to score on one person. Yes. By far, by far, he got it the worst. When I start getting into my, when the Miami years, oh, soon as he got in the game, fucking flat. Fry him. I'm not, when, when Gary Payton got in the game, or he tried to guard me, I'm trying to score every single time. Gary Payton was such a special talent, man. He can lock you up on the defensive side and then on offense, he'll give you some buckets. But anyways, which one was your favorite story? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out some more videos here. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'm out.